Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about this VVKB Apollo C1 liquid heater. So that you know better about this product before you buy it. Well, some customers may not be familiar with this product yet, so I will just give you a rough introduction first. The liquid heater, which is also called water heater or coolant heater, is used to heat the water, coolant, or any other kind of liquid. Uh, so it means you can use it if you want to take a hot shower or make your engine work more efficiently under, under cold weather. Uh, the heater can, can be used on vehicles like, uh, like cars, trucks, uh, RVs or boats. So the application is quite wide. Okay. Okay, now let's take a look at the package. As we can see, the main color is white. And here is the company logo, the red one. And here. On this side, we can see some information like the company's name, the website, emails, and here are the QR codes of social media. You can scan them. And on the bottom, we can see some certificates like uh, FCC, CE, and ROSE. Anyway, the package looks pretty neat to me. I like it. Okay, next is a heater. Here we can see the laser print, which shows the company logo, the voltage, the power of the heater, and you can also see the company's website. Uh, on the top, we can see the arrows here. According to them, we can know that the cold water comes uh, goes in this this part, and the this is where the hot water comes out. The black part, the whole black part, is made of plastics, and the body, the the gray part, is made of Aluminum. And let's check what's on the bottom. As we can see, this is the air inlet and this is the exhaust outlet. This is the fuel inlet. Okay, after talking about the heater, let's see what parts included uh, in an Apollo C1 package. And here they are. This is the mounting plate. The thickness is about 1.5 mm, very robust, and uh, well, the material is made of iron. Very good. And the parts in this bag are what you are going to use to install the heater. These two, this is the air intake filter. Well, it's, it's quite important to equip the heater with an air intake filter because you can uh, block the dust outside so that the combustion can be clean. It's very important to have this. And this is the exhaust muffler, which is made of 306 stainless steel. And the thickness of shell is more than one millimeter. Very, very good looks very beautiful and I think it can be used for quite a long time. To precisely control the fuel output, VVKB liquid heater uses oil measuring fuel pump which reduces the fuel consumption and protects the combustion chamber from carbon accumulation. And here's the wobble spot. It can greatly absorb the vibration noise caused by fuel pump when working. That's one of the tricks that VVKB used to make the make the heater work quietly. And this is the water pump made in Germany. It works very quietly and the working life of it is very long. And this is the fuel filter. It is used to block the particles in diesel or petrol so that combustion can be neat and clean. 
But we recommend to change this filter after use used for like uh, one year or so. Yeah, it's it's quite important. And this is the fuel standby, which we put in the fuel tank. This is the rubber pipe. The gel content in it is higher than 60%, which allows it to be used uh, in very cold temperature, like minus 45 Celsius degree. It's, it's very good. See? And as we all know, this is the fuel pipe. Okay. This is the air inducting. This is the exhaust pipe. VVKB air inducting has three layers. The one inside is aluminum foil, which helps extend the working life of the ducting. The middle one is paper, which is used to fix the shape. And the external one is made of plastics, which is used to protect the ducting from dirty water. And about the exhaust pipes. Most exhaust pipes in the market cannot reduce the exhaust noise and they are not flexible enough to install and they are very easy to break. However, the high quality spiral exhaust pipes from, from VVKB, which can, uh, which can cut the noise by over 10 decibels and they can take over 10 tons of high intensive bending like this. This is the cable for the heater. You can plug this here. See? So, and one thing worth to mention is that this relay and this plug, they are waterproof, which means you can actually install this heater at any convenient place. And you don't need to worry about the damages caused by dirty water to the relay or the plug. So the last thing is the control way. VVKB provides three control options. The first is this manual one. We use this control panel to make the heater start or stop. So let me talk about the working principle of the heater here. When the temperature of liquid reaches 80 Celsius degree, the heater will stop working, but, but not the water pump. And when the temperature goes under 60 Celsius degree, the heater will start working automatically to heat the liquid. So you don't actually need to uh, press buttons on control panel all the time just to make sure the temperature won't go low. It's, it's not necessary. The second is this remote control. It uses batteries. You can, uh, you can use it to start and stop the heater remotely and you can even do the time setting on it. But before you use it, you may want to connect this signal device to the control panel. Third one is GSM control, which means you can control the heater with your phone. But it's not included in the standard package. Uh, so if you need it, you can ask the seller to put it in the package for you. It needs extra payment. Okay, that's pretty much about this Apollo C1 uh, liquid heater. Thanks for watching.